game of Psy. This is a one player game. Uh, and I am just setting up the stream. Second attempt at one player scythe. Okay, I'll share that. Good. All right. So that's on the board. Let me go ahead and set up our comments so that, so that I can read comments while we do this. Do, 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 do. So I, I've been looking online on YouTube and there actually has been a lot of uh, uh, one player scythe games and a lot of them are actually uh, really good at explaining how the Atoma works and also how Scythe works. But uh, what I want to do is I just want to play one. Honestly, I just want to play one and kind of figure out what we're doing here. Hey, what's up, uh, Gata? Welcome to the stream. And the other thing, too, is that, uh, you know, I've been trying to, I want to mix it up a little bit and have some gaming uh, on this channel. Um, my situation with scheduling usually makes it too difficult to uh, try to coordinate with another person. Uh, so I think we're going to be playing a lot of like solo playthroughs when I do this kind of stuff. If we get lucky, uh, maybe I can have somebody over and we can try to survive the two screaming babies <laughs> and their needs uh, in order to, uh, to play some of the games that we used to play. I mean, we used to play uh, some games on here live and stream games on here live. But anyway, uh, so tonight what we're going to attempt to do is play... Scythe, uh, one player versus the uh, Atoma. This is the AI, uh, kind of the, the AI version of uh, their game. So I'm dealing out the board state currently. Um, oh, that hurt. <laughs> I'm like tripping over some stuff that, uh, uh, that I've set up for the long weekend and just a lot of stuff on my floor right now as I'm setting up this game. Um, I will typically most of, be most, buy most of my games based on solo play vids on YouTube. Okay, cool. Well, let's see how we do here. Um, I cannot claim to be an expert on Scythe, but I have played uh, against the Atoma a couple of times here, and so, uh, so we'll just see how we do. And at least, at the very least, you'll be able to get some feel for this game. Okay, so fill out the mission cards there. This is the bonus structure here. I don't even know what that means. Let's uh, let's look that up. I have to look this up in the um, the actual rules. Hopefully, I don't have to refer to the rules very often here. But let's see. Uh, those are called the structure bonus tiles. Okay, structure bonus tiles. Okay. I don't even know. Hopefully it will explain what these structure bonus tiles. I, I kind of understand what they do, but let's see. Pro actions, okay, we don't need that, we don't need that. Okay, structure bonus tiles. Number of your structures in a row, uh, and they do not, rivers do not break continuity. Okay, so we're trying to build the most number of our structures in a row. And uh, two structures, you would gain four lakes, a total of six. Okay. Sorry, I'm just reading to myself here. <clears throat> okay. So these are the territories that your structures are on. So in this case, uh, we are looking to... Uh, we're playing auto meta. Because we're the auto meta is the... Um, uh, automa is the kind of generic term for the AI. Auto meta is the easy mode. So I've set it to easy because... Not, be, not just because I'm learning how to use the Atoma, but because I'm also bad at the game and <laughs> learning how to play uh, the game as well. So, but they do recommend, like, learn how to play 
on easy mode uh, with the auto meta here. Okay. Um, so here's the here's the game board. Uh, we're going to be playing um, uh, factions that are actually pretty far apart. Uh, and so I'm going to be playing Crimea down here. Um, and also the uh, auto meta this time is going to be uh, from the Nordic kingdoms up at the very top of the board. Okay. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and set my board state. Um, I already drew what my game board looks like. Uh, you have a faction board and a game board. The faction board um, is this board that contains all your mechs and some of the other items there. I don't have enough cameras or the setup to include all of this in one shot, but we're going to go ahead and set up. Uh, what did I do with this? We're going to go ahead and set up uh, my game board. Uh, because the uh, the player sets up like they normally would uh, for any game of sides. So I already set my four mechs on the board there. Uh, my faction tells me uh, what my starting power and my uh, cards, uh, my combat card situation is like. So I do it this way. I just make a big mess <laughs> and then clean it up uh, as I'm setting up. So, okay. Uh, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four cylinders that are for uh, recruiting. And the nice thing about these game boards is they're all basically, um, they're all indented. So you have these like excellent sections here by which to set up your, uh, all your pieces. My starting popularity in this game is is there so that's going to be three we'll start with three popularity the uh atoma starts with a 10 popularity and they always and they will remain at 10. i set two workers here with my character and then the rest is this you just sort of follow along uh, my starting power according to this is five according to my faction um and you have the six stars that will that you gain uh, you place as you gain achievements in the game and uh, when one player either the player or the atoma sets the six stars their sixth st star the game is over and you count up the money and determine the winner okay so i'm just going to continue placing this I place all my workers in this red track and I pull everything. Everything in this game kind of runs left to right, just as an easier thing to do. Then you have these uh, technology cubes uh, that uh, signify upgrades, okay? And at the start of the game, you're gonna place, you're gonna fill in all the top row cubes with your technology upgrades. And I'm like super butterfingers here, so I'm like knocking everything around trying to get these cubes in place. So I'm playing the innovative board. This is going to be interesting. So you uh, you you typically randomize what faction you're going to play, and then you randomize what board you're going to play. Um, or what we do is we we'll uh, have the you you play the faction that you're sitting closest to when you sit at the table. Um, and then finally you have uh, this piece here. This is going to signify what move I'm taking. Okay, so on this board here, this is a typical game board, and you have four different moves, four selections of move that you can take during your turn. And you can only take one during your turn, so you're going to place this on the one that you're going to take. And each, each selection has a top action and a bottom row action and you can attempt uh, you can do both actions but in the following turn you can't take the same move so if I if I took this um, uh, if I took the trade option this turn on my next turn I can't take the trade option I have to move this to some place else there is one major exception to that and that's the uh, Rusviet faction I'm not gonna get try to get too technical with the game we're just gonna play it through um, and hopefully you guys get a feel for the game uh, as it's played through one player. It's going to be more important to see what 
um, my moves are during the game because I'm going to be playing as a player. But if you're interested in kind of how does one player work, this is how it's going to work. So the object of the game is to end the game with the most amount of money. I'm going to deal myself my two missions. So uh, let's see. So let's see. The first one is send one back as a warning. Did I already do this one? Um, have at least seven power and complete a move action this turn that forces at least an en one enemy worker to retreat. Oh yeah, I totally did both of these last time. I'm going to shuffle. Sorry. Let's do different ones. Sorry, because I've been playing. All right. Okay, here we go. Harvest advantage. Control at least three farm territories at the end of your turn. Or uh, machine over muscle. Have a factory card, at least one mech, and no more than three workers. So um, uh, so these are kind of opposite of what I was playing last time. These are your, your mission cards. And you have to complete at least one mission in order to to end the game with uh, by placing your six stars. So I'm going to place those aside for right now. And it looks like we're ready to go. I already shuffled up the uh, the automata deck. And so we are going to get going. Um, and so let's go to the board state. Like I said, I'm playing Crimea at the very bottom of your screen. Uh, and the enemy is the Nordic faction there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going on my first turn uh, and on my first selection. So I'm going to switch back and forth a little bit here early on, but hopefully as we progress, I won't need to. Oh man, this is not, is not doing what I want it to. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move. Okay. So I'm going to place the, the pin right there. Uh, and this is going to allow me to either move two units, one space or gain uh, one coin. Oh, I forgot to deal out the money. Uh, I start off with five coins, five dollars, and so does uh, my opponent. So five dollars for me, five dollars for the Nordic. Um, and so I'm going to take that top part of this move, um, but the bottom part of the move requires me to pay three food to, to enlist, and I cannot enlist right now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to Oops. <clears throat> Why does it Why did I change that? Just None. No transition. I don't need a transition. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move two units. I'm going to move my character and I'm going to move one uh, worker unit. So I'm going to move my character here, and I'm going to move them both to the farm, actually, because I I'm, am going to want to start producing food, so I'm going to uh, stick them right there. Um, I tend to get aggressive towards trying to get to the factory, just so you know, and the uh, Atoma plays that way as well. So uh, let's see. So <laughs> that's, that's a good and a bad thing for me. So during the Atoma turn, you have these uh, you have this Atoma deck of cards and you t you play one card to tell you what the Atoma is going to do this turn. Okay? So, with the Atoma uh this is the move line, this is the um what they gain line and then this is an, a recruitment line. The fact that there is a star there means I will be able to advance the uh the Atoma um thingamabobber. Yeah. Okay. So, Let's go to, so this is Encounter Factory, and let's determine if this is a, uh, a valid move. One, you select the Atoma character, and the valid hexes are in the neighborhood of any Atoma unit or the factory, or the hex with uh, the Encounter token. Okay, so, um, so the valid hexes are in the neighborhood of any Atoma unit, which would be these two hexes. I can't go to the factory as I don't have, um, I currently don't have the Riverwalk ability. So I'm going to place him, 
I'm going to place my character right here because you go left to right when you're reading it. Uh, so he's going to, that's the valid space that he's going to go. Um, uh, and I'm also heading towards an encounter token, if any, but no, that's not important. Uh, so once you finish one one option in your move line, uh, the move line is done. Then you move on to the gain line, and you look at the gain line here. So there's a special gain here if I were playing Albion. That's why it has the Albion faction symbol. So you, you ignore the one that's in parentheses. Instead, we're going to follow this. And this tells me to place one worker and to gain one coin. So I'm going to place one worker on the faction space, and I'm going to give Nordic Kingdom uh, one dollar. Okay, so this is going to start to move a lot faster, I promise you, as we go along. Okay, so uh, now it is uh, my turn to go. I am going to go ahead and uh, hmm, I probably, I'm going to go ahead and go here to bolster. Okay, and so I have to pay a dollar, which I will gladly pay. So um, that will put me down to four to uh, to bolster either two power or one combat card. And I, my faction loves combat cards because I can use them as resources. So I'm going to take one combat card, and I'll show you what I have. I have a two. That's perfect because I don't mind burning uh, poor combat cards. And then uh, I can't take the bottom because I don't have any wood. Okay, so now, oh, I forgot to, on the automata turn, I was supposed to move that over one. So you can see it's going to progress along this track, gaining stars, and then flipping the, uh, uh, and then eventually flipping the scenario type. Okay, so automata is going to go. We're going to flip another card. Now, this is important here because there is a, there's that little uh, symbol there that has been X'd out. That means that on easy mode, you just ignore it entirely. So no turn for auto meta. Kind of messed up, huh? <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to go back to me, and I'm going to switch over to the board state so we can start to see what's going on um, on the board state. So I'm going to go back to my move ability, right? Uh, and I can move two units. This time I'm going to take the other worker and move him here to the village. And then I'm going to take my character and move my character over here. And there is an encounter icon here. So I'm going to pick up the encounter icon. And then I'm going to read and follow what's on the encounter. I really need this over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the encounter. So there's three, typically three options on an encounter card. I can either take a ride on the ferry as the wind tussles through your long flowing hair to gain two popularity, or I can trade with the caravan for a variety of goods, pay $2 to gain any three resources, or I can pillage the traveler's wares at gunpoint, pay three popularity to gain any five resources. That would cost me all my popularity, but I would have a ton of resources or I can pay two more dollars, uh, which would leave me somewhat poor to gain any three resources. Um, and on the move space, I could do an auto enlist right now if I so, cho so chose, but I'm a big fan of iron. So I am gonna, I'm gonna take that middle option. I'm gonna pay uh, $2 and that's gonna leave me with a mere two dollars left and I'm gonna gain three resources and I am gonna give myself one two three iron because I definitely I want to start river walking as soon as possible so this is very important to me I'm just gonna stick the three iron there uh, on the square with the uh, with the worker okay all right so let's go back to the board state and let's flip over the next uh, auto meta card and this card is now saying uh, we're gonna move a worker okay so we're gonna move a worker 
uh, and the worker is going to move in the area that has the most number of uh, friendly auto meta neighborhoods, which would be right there. Then uh, it's going to it's going to gain uh, another worker. So you place another worker on the uh, on the faction thing and another gold. And if I had the recruitment bonus for gold, I would have gained a gold as well. All right. Okay, cool. So, uh, so now I am going to go with, uh, so now it, oh, and I get to advance the star, one more star. So if I get to advance three more times along that track, I'm going to get to river walk with the auto meta. And the auto meta is basically singular of purpose. It's trying to go for the factory, and so am I, because I like the factory. Okay, <laughs> so now I am going to go ahead and move my board. Uh, I'm going to move my piece over to produce now. So I can produce on two separate squares, uh, two separate hexes, and it just so happens I have a worker on the farm hex, and a worker on the village hex. So on the village hex, I'm going to uh, place another worker. And on this, you always work. You always go left to right as you start to remove workers because you're going to start to pay more uh, in order to produce as time goes on. Then I'm going to give myself one food right here. And then that's the top part of the move. Now the bottom part of the move, I can actually do this turn. So I pay three iron to deploy one mech and gain a gold. And I just so happen to have three iron that I got from my encounter card. Uh, so I'm going to pay the three iron. And I'm going to deploy a mech. And you can deploy a mech um, on any space that has a worker on it. Um, and it's also important, I should also point out that it's important what space uh, you pull the mech from. So let me see if I can do this and not like totally ruin the board state, just to show you guys how this works. Okay. Because I have all this stuff. All right. So here's your uh, faction um, board. And under each mech, you have these different abilities, River Walk, Wayfair, Scout, and Speed. Everyone kind of has different ones. Um, most people start with the River Walk one, and it's different for each faction. So I'm going to take this River Walk, and the minute I build that mech, it's going to allow me to move across rivers to farms and tundra. So that's super important, as I'll show you on the, uh, the board state here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put the... Uh, mech back here on the village because I'm going to need to start moving people from the village uh, and I'm also going to give myself a handy dandy gold coin for building the mech uh, and that's going to allow me to do this move here because there's a river here dividing these hexes because most of the time the early part of your game you're kind of isolated with the exception of um, uh, Togawa over here they have a kind of a straight trek over to the, the factory. But most factions are kind of stuck in three hexes as they build their, uh, uh, as, as they build up their strength. But with the first mech down already, I'm going to be able to river walk and I'm going to try to get to that factory uh, as soon as possible. Okay? So pretty stoked about that. Let's see how things go. I am already pretty skinny on resources though. So uh, we'll see how we do. Because I'm like, I'm kind of sacrificing everything to get to that factory. Okay. So anyway, let's uh, do the Automa turn. And here we go. Uh, they have a faction symbol here. Oops. I have to just keep. So they have a faction symbol there, which uh, if they were, what's it called? The, forget the German faction. They would be at combat. This is another encounter slash uh, factory move. Uh, so that's the valid move. And they're going to gain a gold coin and uh, advance this, the uh, tracker by one star. So they're going to, I'll just do it that way since it doesn't affect much. Um, the Atoma character would move to here because that's where the encounter uh, card is. And they would just take the encounter. You actually don't resolve it. Uh, and then they're going to gain a gold coin. So I'm going to take their two and color them up. So they're at eight gold. That's pretty normal for the Atoma. They're just going to keep 
because they don't spend their resources, um, they're just going to keep gaining gold throughout the game and press on towards the factory. Back to me. I'm going to move again because I'm nuts like that. So I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to cross over to this tundra there. And then I'm going to take one of... I'm going to take my... Uh, and here's a, another thing to note too. I'm going to take my mech who can carry any number of workers. In this case, I just want to carry one worker. And I'm going to drop him off there. Okay. I can't perform the bottom uh, part, portion of the move because I don't have three food. Um, so here we go. So I have three workers and I have one mech. So you can see I'm actually trying to uh, get, I'm trying to get one of my missions actively. Okay. Um, yeah. Did I? So I got to make sure, here's another helpful hint. I need to make sure that I've been moving my tracker diligently and in order to do that you just check your Atoma card. So I should have moved it one and you skip that one so no, two, three and I moved it one, two, three. So I'm good. All right, next Atoma card is another skip. Woo! -hoo! Okay, uh, so now I'm going to, woo, I'm going to produce again. Right? So I'm going to produce, uh, and I'm going to produce on two squares. Uh, so that's going to make one iron and one food. Whoa. Food went all the way across the board there. And I don't have enough iron to, uh, where did the, where did my board state go? Did that camera die? No, there it is. Where'd it go? Hold on. Sorry. A little bit of a, I want to add that C920. And, whoops, that's the wrong one. I don't need a second C920 in there. I need to add the 310. There we go. And I'm going to put that down there. Wait, it's already on there. Don't need that either. Sorry. Okay. So anyways, one iron, one food, and can't do the bottom yet. Time for the uh, uh, Atoma again. This one they're going to get to go. Wow. And they're going to get to place, an, uh, they're going to get to move a worker. Uh, so you always start at the this is probably one of the more complicated rules in the game. Uh, we're learning how to place workers because you you deal it by neighborhoods, and it's the most number of neighborhoods that are uh, that that worker ends up in going left to right. So I'm going to place a worker, and then the Atoma is going to gain three power, which would put it at power seven, and advance the tracker by one more star. So it looks like the Atoma is going to be able to cross rivers at their next junction. So this, the race is on. I'm gonna go back to guess what, my favorite thing right now, which is to move. Uh, so I'm gonna move ever towards the, uh, <clears throat> ever towards the, uh, the thing there, the factory, I should say. I'm gonna grab another encounter on the way. So let's do that. Okay, so let's see. Here are my options. Gain $2 and one popularity. I need the... I, those are two things I could use. Pay $2 to gain four metal. That would be sweet because that would give me the next mech. Or pay three popularity to deploy one mech. Ah, uh, so I could just deploy the mech right now. That would be pretty sweet but I don't want to give up my popularity so I'm gonna pay two dollars wait do I have I have three dollars on me Ooh. to gain four metal hmm 
or just gain two dollars in the popularity I think right now um, I'm gonna want the money so I'm gonna go two dollars for uh, for two dollars and one popularity I'm going to do that. Move me up one. Uh, and then the other unit that's going to move is nobody right now. Right? And so on the bottom part of the move, I can pay three food to enlist. And I want to do that. So, like I was saying before, I have this cruddy combat card. I'm going to pay that. Uh, so I'm going to spend the two food here. Uh, and the combat card and just play that and put that in the discard put that back in the bank and that's going to allow me to do the uh, enlist action so the enlist action allows me to remove one of these four and you typically want to remove uh, the one that you think is going to help you in the order uh, that you like and so right now combat cards are kind of my deal so I'm going to remove that and I'm going to gain uh, or not gain a combat card, but I will when it's a recruitment bonus. And I need more gold, so I'm going to just go... Actually, I need more combat cards. So I'm just going to go two combat cards. Pull two combat cards. Two and a three, neither one of those are very good, but that's okay. Okay, so back to the Atoma. This one, they are going to continue. Here's another uh, move over to the factory. Uh, so the character would move to the factory. Uh, we're going to advance the star one more token. But here's the thing. It can't, the character cannot move. Um, it, it cannot move towards the factory right now because it, it doesn't yet have the river walk ability. It's going to gain it this turn, but it can't get there. Um, so I'm just going to go to gain, uh, and it's going to gain a mech, and I'm going to go ahead and advance the card here. So, so it's getting there. Again, the mech would start on the uh, uh, back there at the top of the board. Okay. Um, all right. So back to me. Um, I'm going to want to. Um, I'm going to want to. Uh, produce again so I'll go back to produce um, I can produce on two squares so I'm going to produce here iron and I'm going to produce a food so one iron and one food okay back to the Atoma Ooh, it's got the luckily it's got that X on it so the Atoma does not go We'll go back to me. I'm going to go back to move. It's time to go to the game board because things are starting to heat up here. So I'm going to move up there. Um, there's nobody else. Well, yeah, I'll move a. I'll move my worker over. No, I need. I want to keep my worker there. Yeah, it's fine. I'm going to move the mech back to here. So that when I have more recruits, I can start moving them up. Uh, do I have? I don't. I don't. I don't have three food, so I can't do anything there. Back to At Atoma. Uh, here's another skip turn. Wow, doing pretty well. Uh, so I moved last turn. Let's go ahead and produce again on two squares. So now we're going to go three iron and two food. This is all good stuff. I can now pay that three iron to deploy a second mech, which is awesome. So I'm going to deploy the second mech, and this time I'm going to pick speed. I'm going to put, put the second mech um, right here. And uh, so the speed bonus gives me plus one um, hex per movement. Uh, and I'm also going to gain a gold coin, which is awesome. So I have all these ones I'm just going to color up. So I'm starting to gain some cache here. All right.
Nice pills, dude. Nice pulls, dude. <laughs> okay, uh, so the Atoma is going to go again. Oh, look at that. It's just another It's another skip. This is why this is easy mode. Like, I've gone through like half the deck and nothing has happened. So now I can uh, go back to guess what move again. So I'm going to move and I'm going to place my character right here on the factory. And that's going to do some cool stuff. Okay, so let me show you guys what the factory does and why you want the factory. For one, as a territory, it counts as three territories, which is nice. And then at the start of the game, you get these factory cards, okay? And the factory cards, uh, they uh, have abilities on them. And you always deal out the number of players plus one. So since this is a two-player game, we're going to deal out three cards. And so each one of these is basically a fifth ability a uh, fifth move okay so I can either for example I can pay a combat card to gain three resources which is amazing and then I get to move one uh, one uh, mod one unit two hexes or I can pay a combat card to gain two popularity also awesome and move two squares or I can pay two gold to gain a mech and a power so this is the least attractive to me because I'm already two mechs in, so I won't be taking that one. Um, uh, this one is pretty enticing. Combat card for three resources. That's going to help me with my structure plate right now because I cannot gain structures. Um, although this is a really good one too just to gain that two popularity because popularity is such an awesome multiplier at the end of the game. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I will take this one. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put the other two cards back. And I'm going to place that right there. Okay, so now I have a new, I have a fifth move that will allow me to pay combat cards uh, to gain resources, which is going to be amazing. Uh, okay, so, uh, and I should also point out, well, let's finish the turn first. Um, then I'm going to move blah, nobody because I don't care. Well, I better move. Um, I better move this. Where'd my thing go? I better move that other mech up because I'm going to need to somebody to um, take over the guarding the factory while I'm gone. Okay, so this mech, and again, I get to river walk across the tundras. So that's one, and I get plus one move. So two. So reinforcements are coming. That's the end of the move part. I, uh, the next part of the move is I can spend three, um, I can spend three food to enlist and I love enlisting. So let's do that because I do have two food and I have combat cards. So I'm gonna spend two foods, foods is, yes, two food and a combat card and I'll spend this crappy two combat card and two food and I'm gonna enlist and I want to enlist for gold this time because gold is gonna gold is also important so I'm gonna go gold and um, I gave myself two combat card last time I'm gonna give myself two power this time so we're both so me and the AI are both at uh, combat seven. Okay, cool. Let's see what uh, is in store for the Nordic kingdoms this time. They're gonna continue, and they get look. So now they actually get their faction ability because there's their faction right there, and that's gonna allow them to move a worker. Okay, so uh, so move a worker again. This is this is the weird part. You always move workers from the home base and they just teleport around, right? So um, I can move a worker uh, that's going to be in the most neighborhoods is uh, is going to be from left to right would be here on this space because I can river walk now. So I'm just going to put him right there. Uh, the next part of the card says gain a power and a worker. So let's gain a power, putting them at eight and another worker. So three more workers, and they're going to get to place a star. Oh, I forgot to... We'll get to that in a second. Uh, 
and if I, I would have a, a recruitment bonus to gain a power, but I don't have that enlist open. Okay, let's go back to me for a second. Uh, well, it's my turn anyways, but what I forgot to do last turn is I forgot that I'd covered, I'd actually accomplished this scenario here, machine over muscle. Have one factory card, which I just gained last turn, at least one mech, I have two, and no more than three workers, and I have three workers, so I, I totally achieved that. That's going to allow me to place my first star. So the stars uh, are located at the top of the board here, and you just place it there on your mission. Okay, nicely done. So I'm up one star right now. Okay, uh, so let's go back to the Atoma. Oh, I forgot to advance the uh, tracker one space as well from last turn. So Atoma is going to get to go again. Here's their next move. Um, that's a faction that they're going to skip. They're going to get to move a worker, and they're going to gain a gold coin and advance the uh, tracker. So they get to move a worker again. You start from the top. A worker that would be in the most neighborhoods, but not in an enemy neighborhood, uh, is going to be here. And they're going to gain a gold coin, or dollar. It's weird that they use dollars, but okay. And they're going to move the tracker one. So we'll move the tracker one. Okay. Back to us. Uh, what do we want to do? Um, we... We want to uh, we need to start building structures. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to go here. We're going to start using the bolster ability. So we have to pay a, a dollar and uh, we're going to gain one combat card instead of two power because combat cards are nice. There's a nice crappy two combat card. Um, and we're going to gain three resources of any type. And for me, they're going to be wood. Because I don't control any uh, uh, any forest right now. So I'm going to stick three wood back there. Um, but I'm immediately going to spend it. Because I'm going to spend the three wood. Because it's pay four wood so I'm going to spend three wood plus the combat card that I just pulled and I'm going to build a structure and gain two gold so the structure I'm going to build is I'm going to build the mine which will allow me to use mines um, and I'm going to gain two gold which is fantastic so I'm just going to color up my copper to a fiver moving up in the world people it's awesome. Okay. Next up, what are the Nords going to be doing? Uh, okay. This time, they're going to be moving their mech. Um, so, same thing. Uh, this is, I believe, a non-combat mech move. So, I'm going to look that up and make sure if the non-combat, uh, non-attacking mech valid hexes in the neighborhood of any Atoma unit or in the neighborhood of Atoma's base. No enemy unit, no Atoma combat unit. So it looks like... So it can't be in the neighborhood of an Atoma unit, or, or of an enemy unit. So, it, and it can't be in... Um, it can't be, it can't be in that square because I'm uh, sorry that hex because there's already a combat unit there so it looks like the most valid place to put this with the most units would be here so I can move that there um, I'm gonna gain the uh, they're gonna gain a worker and another mech um, and then uh, they're going to and that's it there would have been a recruitment bonus for popularity but I have not uh, enlisted that ability yet. All right, back to me. Whew. So, first structure down. Um, and our power is looking pretty good. I'm wondering. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I could I could have moved a unit 
um, two squares. And what I would have done, honestly, is I would have moved, let's just finish that. So I would have moved one and then two because that's my uh, speed bonus. And then I would go one here, pull another encounter because I love my encounters. And let's see, gain $2 and one popularity, also quite good. Pay $3 to enlist one recruit, also quite good. Pay two popularity to gain one worker and three food. Ooh, I don't really need the worker though. So let's pay three dollars. Mm, yeah, let's pay three dollars to gain uh, one recruit because I like that. Okay, I need to watch my cash flow though. So three dollars will put me back down here. But I'm gonna gain uh, another recruit. So I'm gonna pull, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull this from popularity and I'm gonna give myself $2 back. So that's gonna put me at six total, four, five, six. Okay. So I'm looking pretty good. Next star is on its way. Uh, okay, so this turn, um, so for, the, for this turn, I can produce, uh, but I don't necessarily need to at this point. Um, I, I should probably move into position. Yeah, no, let's produce this turn. So I'm going to produce on two separate squares. This time I'm going to produce, uh, I'm going to produce an iron and I'm going to produce a worker. So I have two workers this time. Um, if I had three iron, I could make a new mech, but I do not. So it is now the Atoma's turn. Uh, Atoma will go again. Oh, I forgot to advance their tracker from last turn. Okay, Toma will go again. Uh, this time they're gonna get to move their character um, in a non-threatening, non-violent way. So let's do that. So the character is uh, in the most neighborhoods would actually go there. They can treat rivers, I'm sorry, lakes as territories because that's the Atoma rule. They can, uh, he's also gonna gain another worker and another gold. So I'll color that up. I'll color all this up to a single 10 because again, the Atoma never spends money. The only time the Atoma spends money is if you're playing Togawa against the Atoma and then you can uh, have it pull. Okay, back to me. What am I gonna do? I am really nervous about Mm, yeah, about that thing. So I'm going to go back to move, my standard move, not my special one. So standard move, I get to move two units. The first unit I'm going to move is I'm going to move this mech here because I'm not playing. Um, I don't want them to try to take the factory from me. Uh, and then I'm going to also move my character, one, two, and pull out another... Uh, encounter. Told you I'm crazy about encounters. My fourth encounter. Let's see. Gain two oil and one popularity. I haven't used oil this entire game because I'm not upgrading, but I really should. Pay three dollars to build a structure. That sounds very enticing. That's very enticing. Pay two popularity to gain four oil. I do need that other structure. So it's either going to be two oil and a popularity. The two oil would allow me to do an upgrade or $3 to build a structure. I'm going to do $3 and build a structure. I've been kind of fast and loose with my spending this game, but I want to do that. And um, I, so I'm going, to, I'm going to build a mill over here so that I can uh, continue to pump out the iron there. Okay, the next part of that move action 
is three food and I don't have any food but I'm gonna need that last enlist to put the to put a star down all right okie doke next up Atoma Atoma is gonna get to is looking to combat a worker and it does not have that as a valid move so it's going to move a worker and Ooh, that's not valid. That's not valid. This is a valid move for a worker. And it's going to gain a worker. And it's going to advance the tracker token over. So I'll advance the tracker token. And because I have, because the Atoma has placed eight workers, it's going to place its first star for having all eight workers on the board. Okay. Uh, so now back to me. I need to produce things or uh, I need to I need to bolster yeah well I do need a combat card so I will do that I'm gonna spend this I'm gonna spend another gold Ooh. No, I better produce. It's going to cost me a power. Let's produce. Uh, and I can produce on two hexes. And I'm going to produce two more iron. And I'll produce a food. Actually, I probably should just produce a worker at this point. So I'll pull another worker there. Because I need to start spreading my guys out. And then I can spend the three iron right now let's do that to gain a mech and a gold coin and I'm gonna pick the Wayfair ability and I'm gonna stick the mech right here okay uh, so now it's the Atoma's turn Atoma's still going this is gonna place this will end up Placing a second star for the Atoma. This is going to allow me to move a mech. Uh, and this is a non combat move, right? Yeah. That's a non combat move for a mech. And I do have the ability to place that. Uh, ooh. That's not a valid square uh, hex, neither is that. This is the next valid hex going left to right, so it's going to go there. Okay. Uh, then it's going to gain another mech and two power. Dunk, dunk, so power 10. And then it's going to move the tracker. And so now when it moves the tracker, this is going to move, uh, this will all be, uh, this will now be scenario two. So I turn the deck over. And I place a star on the uh, Triumph track. You're supposed to tr uh, place it to the side of the track because it's not a specific Triumph. But anyways, so yeah, nice, nicely done there by the uh, by the Nordic faction. Okay, so now that I have the the gold, I'm gonna I'm desperately in need of a uh, uh, of a combat card. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pay a dollar. I'm going to gain a combat card. Please be a good one. It's a two. It's okay. It's fine. Um, and I can't do anything else because I don't have any wood this turn. Alright. Now to the Atoma. We're now on scenario two. Oh look. They get to place another worker because they're blue. Bunk, 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 bunk. The legal spot for the worker is there. Uh, they're going to gain three power. One, two, three. And they're going to gain uh, another worker, but they don't. Uh, and I gain the recruitment bonus. This is a nice thing. Um, so the third row of the cards here is your recruitment bonus, and I gain another combat card from the uh, Atoma, which is nice. 
that's going to come in handy. And guess what? It's another crappy two. <laughs> okay, so now um, I am, yeah, it is time. Um, so uh, I'm going to need more encounters. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take my fifth move here. I'm going to pay one of those crappy two combat cards. I'm going to give myself three wood because that's super important. I should give myself three oil. That's okay. Let's go three wood. Three wood. Um, and then, uh, then I'm going to get to move a single unit um, up to two hexes, which is actually uh, four um, based on how I'm doing here. Um, and this can be interesting because I do want to start um, dropping guys off because I, I do need to do that um, instead of doing all the encounters. Although, an encounter right now would be kind of nice because I'd be able to just bink one out real quick. So, I'm going to now move to an unoccupied territory. Let me show you because of the my, my new movement ability. So, I'm going to move here. And then, I'm, uh, that's one. And then two for the first move. And then I'm going to cross over here and pull another encounter. I'm telling you, I'm addicted to encounters. Here we go. Pay two dollars, oh, gain two dollars and one popularity. Quite nice. Pay two dollars to get a worker. Now, pay two popularity to build a structure. I like that a lot. I could use another structure, but I have the wood already, so I'm gonna skip. Well, no, because then I can do. Hmm. Then yeah. Because then I'll be right, I'll be front loaded. So let's do. Let's put a mon. Let, let's. Uh, yeah. Let's pay the popularity. Or do I need the do the the money? I'm gonna take the money. Gain two popularity. Wait, sorry. Gain two dollars and one popularity. So I'm gonna go up to popularity five. And give myself two dollars. Because I am extremely short on cash right now. All right. Next up, the Atoma gets to go. All right. Atoma's looking to pick a fight. Here we go. If it has a combat of seven, it's going to go in. So it's going to go in. It's going to. This character here is going to try to take the factory. Ooh, um, so let's resolve the combat. All right, choose your combat power and combat cards. Uh, and then you draw, oh, that's if, wait, this is, this is an attack move versus combat unit. Okay, select Atoma combat unit. Closest to Atoma's base. Oh, that doesn't do that. Okay, so the the um, so it would be the the mech that's all the way back at base. Pick up the selected unit. The fewest enemy combat units closest to the factory. So it's going to be that unit. And place. And now we're going to resolve the combat. All right. So here's how we do combat. I'm going to switch over to here. Um, so now I would play combat as normal. I have six power and I have a combat card. Um, so, uh, and the Atoma also has a combat card. And he's, uh, we already know that the Atoma is going to be spending, at his current power level, he's only going to be spending one plus the combat card. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna 
um, wager a whole bunch of power. I'm going to wager five power, and I'm going to play my higher of the two cards. So I'm going to play the three for a total of eight. Okay, because I I want to win this combat. Uh, so actually, I don't have to spend that. I'll spend the two because that'll be seven. Uh, because we know that the highest card it that could be would be a five, and a, uh, five plus one would be six. So let's see what the Atoma has. The Atoma had a three card, so they have a power four. They lose. This gets sent back. Not to the um, player's starting area, but to the player's board, or the Atoma's board. So they're going to lose that combat. I'm going to gain a star for winning a combat, which is awesome. So we're both at two stars. Very cool. Uh, let's continue on with the rest of... Uh, oh, they would have spent one. So they're going to gain three power. One, two, three and gain another worker, which they don't have. And I'm going to gain a combat card as the recruitment bonus. Wait. Yeah. No, I'm going to gain a popularity as a recruitment bonus, and we're going to advance their tracker by one. So I'm now at popularity six. Quite nice. Okay. So my guy's doing the job there, trying to keep them at bay. Um... I need to build a structure this turn. Like I really, I gotta do it. One, two, three, uh, yeah. So to build the structure, I'm gonna have to pay to bolster. And I'm gonna, instead of taking the combat card, I'm gonna bolster two, one, two. And uh, then I'm gonna spend this this is going to leave me a little vulnerable if they just choose to attack me next turn. Because I'm going to spend this and the combat card to build uh, to build my uh, monument. And I'm going to build the monument right there. Okay. So, uh, let's go with the Atoma. Uh-oh. Atoma is going to be looking to attack with a combat of one. So it's going in pretty fierce now. Uh, so that's going to be closest to base. It's going to be the character here. Yeah, he's going to win this combat. I'm just going to lose it. Um, they're going to spend, uh, they're going to spend at 15, they're going to spend seven power. Go down to eight. I'm going to spend nothing because I don't want to lose my power. Um, so they're going to knock my mech back to the drawing board, win a combat, place a star. These guys are just oh, ruthless. And I'm going to, and then it's going to gain a gold coin. And I'm going to gain a combat card, which is what I needed. But I'm getting thumped pretty hard right now. Okay. All right. So now uh, it's my turn to go. And yeah, we got rocked pretty hard right there. So I'm going to. Uh, so I'm going to go to the moves, the move um, ability here. So I can move two units and they can move up to two spaces. So I'm going to move this unit and he's going to pick up a worker and go one, drop off the unit there, and two, go to that tundra. Uh, and then this unit is going to go one, pick up this unit, or pick up these two guys, and two and drop them off there. Okay. I don't have any wood, or I'm sorry, any food to enlist, but I'm going to want that enlist here pretty soon. All right. And now uh, back to the Atoma. The Atoma, wow, they're just going to keep advancing. So this is going to be a non-combat move for a mech. That would be this mech. 
uh, that mech would go, it's actually in the best space it's going to be, so it's going to be happy there. The Atoma, they're going to gain two power and gain another mech. And I'm going to, I would have gained a power recruitment bonus, but I do not have that. And they're also going to advance their tracker by one. Okay. I do not have enough power to go after that Atoma. Yeah. Do not have the power to go after that Atoma. Um, hmm. What can I do? Well, I'm going to need to upgrade at some point. All right. Let's bolster. Yeah. What, is there anything I can do? E, not exactly. Oh, I can get another encounter, so let's do that. Let's pay this. Pay the combat card. This is probably a mistake. But I'm going to gain three of any resource. Uh, and the resource I'm going to choose is going to be wood. Probably a mistake to three, right? So I'll gain three wood, uh, and then I'm going to move a single unit uh, twice. So let's go back with our character who is super excited about encounters. So I'm going to move the character back to this starting point now and uh, and I'll go one two and then one and gain that well wow, I have so many encounters right now okay here we go gain two dollars in the popularity which is nice pay three dollars to enlist a recruit that would put me that would put up another star, but the two dollars and one popularity also really good. Let's, uh, and I gotta get back into the star, the star battle, but that's gonna leave me at one gold. I don't care. We're gonna do it. So we'll pay three dollars. To enlist a recruit. So three dollars, so that leaves me at one dollar. I'm gonna do my final enlist and that's gonna give me two popularity, which is where I want to be. And uh, yeah, okay, uh, Atoma's turn. Atoma is going to get to move a mech, um, so it's going to be that mech, and it's actually going to be here. Uh, they're going to gain four power and a, a recruit, so one, two, three, four. I'm going to go to 14, and they would have gained a guy, but they already have their guys, and I'm going to gain a combat card. Woo! -hoo! And they're going to move their tracker by one. This game is getting pretty tight now. And I have a good combat card. Okay. I need to build my fourth structure. Uh, oh, and I need to put the the next star down for having all my all those down. Okay. So now um, so I need to build my fourth structure. That means I need to be here. This is gonna cost me another dollar. My last dollar. Uh, which is going to move me up to one, two, back up to five. Uh, then, oh, and I gain a popularity doing that because of the new structure. Um, then I'm going to uh, pay the three wood and my combat card to uh, produce the last structure, which is going to be the armory right there um, 
and that's going to give me two coins as well. So I'm not totally broke, just close. And that's also going to allow me to place another star on my structures. So I'm two stars away from ending this game. I don't know if that's good though. I'm being honest with you. <laughs> okay, so now uh, the Atoma will get to go, and they've been just rocking it here. They get to place another worker. Uh, da -da 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 -da, from left to right, there's three, there's three, three right there, right? Actually, this is from left to right, that's the appropriate spot um, and they're gonna gain a combat card a gold and a mech and importantly that places them and they get to advance the star by one I'm gonna gain a power because of recruitment so they have the they have their fourth star for having all four mechs this is a tight race man I need to figure out how to get my last mech on the board. Okay. And I don't have any combat cards. So I got problems here. I'm going to have to actually produce stuff to make a mech. Uh, which we can do. We can totally do that. Um, Alright, so let's... Uh, Let's go to produce. Uh, this is going to allow me to produce on two squares. I do have to give up a power doing that. Uh, so I'm going to produce two iron. And I would have been able to make that mech if I got a combat card. So two iron and I might as well make the... And I don't need to make food anymore. So I'll produce another dude there we go and uh, we're good to go there and I can't do the other thing all right so here we go Atoma final card here ooh look at that and they're gonna gain their fifth star at the end of this so uh, they're gonna be looking to fight a place with a worker uh, so how do we, let's find out how we resolve that. Combat move, closest to the Atoma's base, so it's going to be the mech, uh, in the neighborhood of any Atoma unit or in the neighborhood of Atoma's base, contains an enemy worker, no enemy combat unit. So, In the neighborhood of the Atomas base, no, contains enemy unit. Uh, so I guess the valid, the only valid place to put it would be there, because it can't. G I'll get. It doesn't have enough um, in the neighborhood to get over to me. All right, and then this is gonna place the fifth star for the Atoma. Wow. I am getting thumped. Okay, so it's my turn. I have to make that. Oh, I can't. Cannot do it. Um, and I don't have a combat card, so I can't do that move either. This is tough, man. Um. Yeah. I guess I'm going to bolster to gain the, the, oh, I get a recruit from that, from their last turn. I actually did get a combat card, so I can do it. So, but I can't, it's just, I can't do it this turn. And it doesn't matter if I take that. I'm going to true. Yeah, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for broke. So we're going to move two units, right? Um, the first unit I'm going to move is going to be, I'm going to go after the forge again. Okay? So 
uh, so what we do, and this is that's the end of the deck. So I take this, shuffle all of these cards back together. I really need that. Uh, I need to try to win this combat. Okay, so we're going to shuffle all these together, and then we're going to draw one, which will determine the combat. Oh, so it's going to blow seven. So I'm totally going to lose this. Seven plus two is nine. So unless this is a five. Wait, this is my card, which is a three. So I cannot win. Well, and that's going to end the game. Wow. That's going to be bad. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and just resolve the combat. I'm going to spend nothing. They're going to go down to 7 and burn their card for 11. Yeah, they had a 4. Woo! That's going to put me down here. Um, I would have... I'm sorry, I would still have finished the move uh, thing. So the second unit would go... Mm. One, two, like that. Okay. Yikes. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we got thumped here. But let's see what we get. All right. So let's go ahead and score it because that marks the sixth and final star for the Atoma. And I only had four. So let's go ahead and score the Atoma. Four coins per star placed, so that's 24. All right, three coins for territory controlled. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, times three is 42. Wow, I just got butchered hard. five and uh, that's it that's all that's what they get so they're at they're at 60 70 78 Wow all right now for me uh, I'm gonna get for every star I would get four so I have four stars, that's 16. This is not quite as nice. Um, for every hex controlled, I'm gonna get three. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 18. Let's just do 20. Trade that out. And then for every two resources, I'm gonna gain two. I have a total of two resources, so that's three. And then this bonus here, four is another nine. Three, three, four. Wow. All right, so I'm looking at 40, 47. So I got obliterated. <laughs> On easy mode. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So, you know, what was I doing wrong? I'm not sure. Yeah. I got I got pretty handled by the uh, Atoma. I think it's because I, tr I keep trying the same thing, which is I try to control the factory early. And instead of spreading out, which is what I should be doing once I have, like, high enough popularity, um, I should actually be working on spreading out the 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 map a little bit uh and but it's it's hard the way that the atoma places units um they just conquer so much of the board 
and they're able to spread out. Um, my excuse is uh, I don't have one. I should have, I probably, I mean, I should have just continued to work on stars. Um, and uh, yeah, I didn't expect to lose those combats. It, it came down to that combat card. Like if he, if he had one fewer power, I would have won the combat. That would have been my fifth star. Uh, I would have control of the factory. Um, and then I would be able to spread out. But whatever, you know, that's that's what you get. Uh, I'm learning that I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> but it's a super fun game, which is cool. I mean, that's that's the point. Um, it's just, man, that was just a thorough handling by uh, by the AI on easy mode. But just so, but you know, let me know what you guys think. It was super fun. Um, I really enjoyed playing it, and uh, hopefully, I'll get better at this game. <laughs> so with that, uh, I'm gonna draw our um, stream to a close. Want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.